Reading a book. What you doing? Reading a book? Mm-hmm. Mm, that sounds like fun. I got something better. What? Wanna go to the park? Sure. I'll meet you there in about an hour, okay? Okay. Bye. Bye. See your outfit for the day, your mushrooms. Yeah, that one fits good too. All right, let's go. Last camera shot. All right, let's go get our shoes on. Go put your white tennis shoes on. Sorry, baby.
and we on our way to school. Wait a minute. Was it the little, that little light skinned little boy? What was this? Was it yesterday? No. Was it like in the beginning of the school year? Yeah. Is it, well, has he been mean to you since then? No. He says sorry. He's friend. Okay, he apologized to you? Yeah. Okay, well, we don't hold grudges, baby. If he, if he apologized and he ain't been mean to you since, it's okay. You know what I mean? It'll be okay to talk to him. If he apologized for calling you a name and he hasn't done anything since then, it's okay. It's like we don't reciprocate that type of energy back to people. We just let it go after that because he ain't done nothing. And he seemed like he he a really nice boy. He could have just been following, following somebody else, doing what somebody else doing, you know, being mean. You know how sometimes kids, if they see one person doing something, the next kid will follow thinking that it's cute. Well, baby, this is it. I'm glad school over. Your mom got a new place today. She didn't show me. That's because she don't get it until today. She can't show you till today. So that's where you're going to be sleeping at today. Okay? In a new place with your mom. So she get her key today. I'll call her in a little bit to see where she at. Because she, she was... Bed stand there. Hmm. The bed. You'll have a bed there. Oh, I was taking my bed. I was in no, she got you a new bed. Oh. So she got you a bed, and she got her a bed, so y'all can have somewhere to sleep, so y'all not sleeping on the floor. Oh. So you you good to go? All I need to do is just move all your stuff, your toys and your clothes. That's it. Y'all, you guys, I ended up getting Yay Yay originally 10 outfits from Timu, and I got her 10 more outfits from Timu, and then her mom gave me the money for these. I'm gonna open these up so you guys can see these outfits. Most of the ones that I bought her, she wore a few of them. I think I still got some in the closet. But I'll show y'all what the Timu outfits look like for the kids. Just in case y'all interested. Because a lot of people been asking if the stuff from Timu is legit. If it looks like the pictures. And pretty much for the most part. I can say that the kids clothes have been on point. So just give me a minute to get these unwrapped. And then I'll show y'all her outfits. And here's the rest from that bunch. And then this outfit right here, y'all, I ordered this one twice, just in two different colors. So the t-shirt blue and the shorts is tan. And now we got this one in white and green. Lord, today I wasn't paying attention. So that's all the outfits that I just bought her. And then I'll show y'all the ones that we have left that she didn't wear that I bought. Okay, and then these are the outfits that she have left that... I bought her and like I said you guys these are all from Timu good quality so she's summer ready and she can even wear some of these outfits if she don't ruin them back to school because it's gonna be hot when school start so she even got some outfits to go back into to the next school year with what is up you guys happy Saturday happy Saturday I am chilling in the dining room today because I wanted to get my worship in before Chi Chi's got here. He's actually should be, but if I know Chi Chi's, he probably just not rolling out of bed. But he said by 12, he was going to try to get to the nursing home to see one of his friends that he just found out that had a stroke yesterday. So he's going to the nursing home to visit him. 
I'm sitting here with my granola bowl. Y'all know that's my morning breakfast. I eat that every day. And the fruit is actually pretty good this time, y'all. Like, them raspberries is hitting on everything. So I had to put a, put a few extra in my bowl. But I got my Bible out and I'm getting ready to play a message that I've just been marinating on, just been playing it and playing it. I'm about to play it again, get in my word so I can get my day started because I just, I can't function anymore if I don't get some type of worship in. So that's what I'm going to do. I know that I'm not going to leave the house today. I'm going to be in for the most part. It's very hot outside and my asthma doesn't do good in the heat. And since I haven't been breathing well over the last couple of days and not for sure if I'm going to wind up sitting in an emergency for a stronger breathing treatment than the ones that I've been giving myself at home. It's just, who y'all, I, I don't know. I don't know. But I'm starting to get a little nervous because nothing, nothing is helping me. And I feel like I'm getting worse even when I try to talk. I feel like I'm I'm breathing harder than I need to be breathing when I try to lay down at night. I'm breathing hard. It seems like I'm struggling to breathe. And that's kind of scary because you don't know if you could fall asleep and have an episode and not wake up. So I'm just going to see how this day plays out for me. I'm going to do another breathing treatment here in just a little bit to see if that helps. But... I've definitely just been struggling over the last couple of days and I've just been trying to take it easy, not doing too much. And even when my cousin had asked me to walk on the track with them this past Thursday, I had to tell them that I couldn't because I wasn't breathing good and I didn't want to make things worse for myself. So that's going to be my day. Hopefully Chi Cheeks don't want to do nothing because I'm going to have to tell them that I'm going to have to sit this one out and stay in this good air, okay? Um, I got a new book, y'all. This one's called Sis Don't Settle. And this one's by Faith Jenkins. I'm ready to dive into this book. I know that this book is going to be everything. She talked about it on the Future Wifey podcast. And as she was talking about this book, and Lateris was talking about the things that he liked in the book. Honey, I was on Amazon ordering the book. So Mines came in yesterday. And one thing about me, when, whenever I start reading books, if it's a good read, no matter how thick this book is, I can finish it in a couple of days because I just don't want to put it down. So this is going to be probably what I'm going to be doing today is consuming this book <laughs> so yeah I'll be doing that today and another thing y'all I just wanted to mention real quickly I ain't gonna really touch too much on it because it's just been heavy on my heart heavy and I don't know why it's been as heavy on my heart as as it's been because I don't personally know these people but when it comes to YouTube I follow my certain people that I like, I follow them. But then there are certain people that I will follow because of where they came from and how I've seen them progress and where they are now. And DC Young Fly is one of those people that I've watched him come from YouTube, from doing his videos and stuff on YouTube, and then going to wilding out to movies and just little things that he's been doing to to elevate in in his life. And I'm really proud of him. And I just found out that his longtime girlfriend, Jackie O, just passed away Wednesday. She went to go get a mommy makeover. She didn't die during the surgery, but she died after the surgery. And what people are basically saying, and I'm, I'm not saying that this is factual, that her heart stopped, but that's what's been said, that she made it through the surgery, but her heart failed after the fact. Jackie O isn't somebody that I really truly follow. 
but I've seen her on YouTube because she has a YouTube channel, a big following on YouTube as well. She has a lipstick line. It's not a lipstick line, it's a lip gloss line. And which, honey, I'm about to get up on them because she got some bomb lip glosses and you can get them on Amazon. She just had a lot going for it. She had a, just gotten her real estate license, so she was getting ready to start on that along with her YouTube, her lip gloss line, and then these three babies that she's raising and adores. I mean, when I say she was a hands down, awesome mother, it's like whenever I seen her with her kids, I'm like, man, she's a good mom. Very good mother. Her last baby, his name is Prince. He'll be one next month. So he's not even a year old. And I believe her oldest baby is five or six. This is definitely hard. And I don't know why I'm taking it so hard. I don't know if it's because it's kids gonna now have to grow up without their mom. DC Youngfly, who is a man of God, loves God, a prayer warrior, honey, will pray for you and everything and everybody. When I say he can pray, y'all, he can pray the roof off a house, okay? I mean, I can listen to him. Like, I, I watched two of his videos where his family was getting ready to go on a trip and they was all on a bus and he led the prayer honey when i say i was blessed after that prayer like i was going on that road trip with them this man can pray and now he needs our prayers because i know he don't have the words to speak right now to god that will even make sense and i guess this tugging that's been on my heart Every time I think about him, all I can do is pray for him. All I can do is stand in the gap and pray for him, pray for his children, pray for her family and all their loved ones and friends that are going through this trying time right now. Because one thing about it is we have to pray for one another. We have to. If you are a God-fearing person, whether you know that person or not, they need prayers right now. And he definitely needs prayer right now. And I'm just praying that God will comfort his heart and that God will make him the man that he needs to be to raise his kids. I couldn't imagine losing my mom at a young age and not having a mother anymore and, and not to mention having a loving, attentive mother at that. Like she was just at her daughter's school during, doing story time. I mean, when I say she was amazing, she was amazing. And I know a lot of people are like, why did she feel like she needed to do this mommy makeover? I bet you we all kicking ourselves about that one because when you look at her, she was a beautiful woman. Like, what is it that you felt needed to be fixed? And I know dang on well, DC Youngfly didn't tell her that she needed to go get anything fixed. He probably supported her in her decision on wanting to get that tummy tuck and a boob lift, but he probably looked at her like, you don't need that. But if that's what you want, I will support you. If you with somebody and you feel like you need to enhance yourself because of them. You don't need to be with them, period. One thing about me, I have my own insecurities about my own fat rolls and, and just being overweight because I'm used to being the skinny person. I grew up most of my life being skinny. So this, this part of me, I'm getting used to. I've been skinny longer in my life than I have been this thick person that I am now. But... I've grown to appreciate who I am in my own skin. That's where it starts. You got to you got to appreciate you and accept you for who you are and know that no matter what these type of things can be fixed. You know, if you change your eating habits, exercise a little bit more or it could be something else. It could be your hormones. It could be anything. You might need to visit a doctor and find out, you know, what's going on with you and why you're just getting big and you can't lose weight. But at the end of the day, I love me and I would never go under the knife to fix anything about me. I don't care what other people think about me. 
it's me who has to live in this body every single day. And if I want to change, then I will when I feel that need to change or that motivation to change. And also, if you're in a relationship, whether you're married or just in a relationship with somebody, and if the person that you're with accepts your fat rolls and loves your fat rolls, be comfortable with that because that's the only person that you need to impress. You don't gotta impress all these other people. You don't have to be that Instagram model. You don't have to be that person because even those Instagram models got insecurities about themselves. You may not know it, but they got insecurities about themselves as well. So I'm not trying to keep up with the Joneses and be this type of person. I'm just trying to be the best person that I can be for me and comfortable in my own skin. So if you see me and my fat rolls hanging out, mind your business. Because I'm okay with my fat rolls. And until I'm not okay with my fat rolls to do something about it, it is what it is. Just did not even have to happen. It didn't. But it's like, what can you do what's done now? You can't undo it. All you can do is just move forward from it. And I'm just praying for him and his family. And if you guys know him, say a prayer for him. They definitely need prayer right now. They were a beautiful family. Beautiful family. When I say it just seemed like they were perfect for each other and they had the perfect kids. <sighs> but I never questioned God about anything. I never question God because what you going to do? I just wanted to talk about it, though, because it's definitely been on my heart. And every time I think about him, all I can do is pray for him because he's going through something that it's going to take some time to heal from. But I'm going to get in my word, y'all. I'm going to tell y'all about this book, though. If y'all want to read this book with me, go to Amazon. Sis Don't Settle. And maybe we could do a live and talk about the book. But I'm telling you, I think it's something in here for men and women. But I'll catch up with y'all in a minute, fam. I ain't really want nothing. Y'all, I had to make me some macaroni and cheese um, to go in my ribs. I asked Babe if he wanted some. He said no. So I guess I got to eat all this by myself eventually. I don't think I'm going to eat all this, you guys. But uh, for one, if I want another rib, I don't want to have to get up to get it. And that's my coleslaw. But, uh, yeah, that's going to be it for this video, you guys. He's in there sleeping. That's why I'm talking kind of low. So I'm going to end this video here, and I will see y'all fam on another video real soon. Bye.